everyone. I just wanted to make a quick update on here. Um, just to discuss everything that's been going on recently. Um, so, um, as you all know, we are not actively trying to conceive right now. But I did decide, just because everything's been so confusing, and I'll go into that, but um, my body's been really confusing the heck out of me. Um, so I decided that I'm going to start um, temping and charting just to see what my body's doing, um, kind of know when to expect um, AF and try to know when to expect AF. And um, so I'm going to start doing that. I took my started my first temp this morning, um, and I went ahead and plugged that into fertilityfriend.com. And um, you can tell me, what do you guys use? Do you guys all use that? It seems like it's a pretty popular one. Um, the charting software thing that I used back when I was trying to conceive my son, actually, um, it no longer exists except for for purchase um, as like a, an, an add-on software. Like you can buy the disc and install it in your computer and do the thing instead of being free on iVillage like it used to be. So I don't have that one. I really enjoyed that one. That one's gone. Um, I would like to not get a paying membership yet on Fertility Friend. Tell me what your experiences are. You know, is it worth it? Do you like it? Um, is it reliable? That kind of thing. So, uh, I just need a simple thing to, you know, just plug it in there. So, I started doing that um, because I was having some very confusing signs for my body. Um, I was spotting since I had that initial um, bleeding that my doctor told me that was a hormonal kind of withdrawal type of bleeding, um, my body was kind of confused, like, are we still pregnant? Are we not? What's going on? So your body needs a time to adjust when you lose a baby, um, when you lose a pregnancy, um, to know what's going on. So um, I had spotting for a really long time, and not until like four days ago maybe, um, it finally stopped. I was like, thank you, because I don't need that reminder every time. You know, if you hear my TV, it's kind of loud. Keegan's watching cartoons right now or whatever, so sorry about that. Um, so I hate having that reminder, but that's done. Um, and I've had some, some like, crampies, like, pulling type of, like, pains. I don't know what it could be. Um, I'm thinking it's either a sign of AF soon. Or maybe ovulation? I don't know. I don't know if you can ovulate before. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm getting mixed results when I start research um, on whether or not you ovulate before um, your first AF after surgery. Um, so I'm not sure what those are. It's on the good side that it's coming from. So I don't know what that means. Um, I don't think AF is coming right now because I would think that it would still be like two weeks. So it would be like or three weeks. No, it would be like three weeks still until it should be coming because it would be six weeks after. It's so like four to six weeks after. So I don't know. Um, Fertility Friend says that it's due on the 15th, but that's just because they're using that bleeding as AF. Um, so I don't know what to think. Um, I mean, I guess it could come on the 15th or earlier, on the 13th or something, but I don't know. I'm not really, I mean, I'm having these feelings, um, like, with just the cramping, but I never had ovulation pain before, and I never really had cramps before AF was coming in the past, but I know everything's different now, um, so who knows. Um, I've had kind of on and off, like, a little bit of breast tenderness, like, when I go to roll over at night, I'm like, ooh, that hurts, and it's weird for me because I didn't even have breast tenderness, like, ever. Like, any of my cycles in the past, when I was pregnant with my son, no breast tenderness. So, that's really weird, strange for me. I'm kind of confused um, as to where that could be coming from. Um, um, I think it's just like a hormonal thing again. But what is it, what is the hormonal thing that's causing that? Like, is it just my body regulating itself? Or is it a sign that something is about to happen? So, um... Who knows? That's confusing, right? I've had patches of what seems like fertile um, CM, um, which I've never had in the past either. Um, even when I was conceiving my son, never had that EWCM that everyone hopes and dreams about. <laughs> um, never had that. So we actually used Preseed um, for a while when we were trying to conceive him because I didn't have that and I knew that you need that. So. Um, which we didn't actually use that the cycle that I conceived, I don't think, so. Um, I guess my CM is okay. 
I don't know, but I've never had that before and it's very strange that I have it now. And I'm not sure if it's just because of the loss and that's why, and it's my body, again, is trying to figure things out. Um, but I've had that and um, do, do, do. Um, yeah. So I'm kind of, I mean like, I'm, I feel like I did whenever I was fertile, like my libido is kind of up and um, yeah, so I kind of feel like that, but my temp was low. So, I mean, compared to, I don't have anything else to compare it to because I don't have a history right now of what it's like and I've never been breastfeeding while temping. So, I mean, it was low. So it's like, hmm, you know, it's like in the range of pre-ovulation. So maybe this is an anovulatory cycle. Could that be possible? And then maybe, I'm just gonna get AF, I don't know. But I'm just really confused. Um, and so I'm, I mean, I'm not really telling my husband about all this because he doesn't wanna worry about that or stress about any of it right now. Um, but you know, we've been not preventing. And so, who knows? I guess if six weeks from surgery day or a little after that comes and goes and I don't get AF, I'm gonna take a test. And I guess I'll do that live, um, just to see, just to, you know, see what's going on, see if that's a possibility, which I don't think it is. Um, I mean, I'm still, my mindset is this is going to take a while, so um, I don't expect that. But I don't want to take, like, I want to take OPKs right now and know when I'm going to ovulate, but my, like I said, my husband doesn't want that right now. And so I'm going to respect his wishes and not know when that's going to happen um, until afterwards. Um, so that is that. So, I mean, what do you all think? I, I guess it's just a big waiting game right now, and that is so stressful because I just want to know what's going on with my body. Um, so we'll see what my temps do. I mean, if I have an obvious temperature rise, then at least I'll know when to expect um, ant flow. So... AF, yay. Um, and those of you who've been through um, pregnancy loss in the past, was your first AF, um, was it rough? Was it really heavy and painful? Let me know. Um, these cycles that I've had since, um, since my cycles, since my first um, postpartum AF, um, have been, were really light and like weren't that painful and so, I'm hoping that that's still the case, but I know it can change. So let me know what your experiences are. Um, yeah, so that's what's been going on. I just wanted to put all this up here so I can have it. Um, and so comment, and thank you for watching. And let me know if there's any videos that you want to see from me. Um, and that is that. And then I also, okay, so now that's over, wanted to tell you all that... Um, I am now, I'm very proud, I'm very happy to be a part of the new collaboration channel, Breastfeeding Mamas. And um, so a bunch of us Breastfeeding Mamas on YouTube have gotten together on this channel and we are going to share our experiences and um, be supportive of you and answer your questions. And, you know, as other moms, not as professionals, just, you know, it's all of us supporting each other in this community. And I think it's gonna be a really great thing. So check that out, I'll put a link below. Um, check that out, subscribe to that, um, check out the intro videos that are up, look out for my intro video that will be up soon, um, and then in the future, um, look out for all of those um, amazing videos that we will be putting up on breastfeeding and our experiences. So, um, send in your requests too, because, you know, we will get to those um, and when we can. So, um, I hope everyone is having... A, I hope everyone had a great weekend, and because it'll be Monday by the time this gets up. But um, I hope everyone had a great weekend and has a great work week. And um, you know, baby dust to you all that are trying. Um, congratulations to any um, BFPs that have happened recently. And um, I am praying for all of you pregnant mamas that your pregnancies go smooth and well. And I know. Some of you that are my friends, um, at least on Facebook, are having a little bit of issues right now, and I've been really praying for you, so you know who you are. Um, so, yes, thank you for all your support. I can't believe that I'm almost 200 subscribers. 
I'm shocked. I am just, I feel so blessed and um, I'm just amazed at all of your support and I think I might just do a giveaway soon. So as soon as I hit that 100 marks. So look out for that too. Have a good day.